Good morning everyone. My name is Kalpana. I am the moderator of this debate. Today we are going to present a debate on genetically modified crops. The topic is genetically modified crops are beneficial or harmful to humans. On my right is the affirmative team and on my left is the negative team. I will give one minute to each speaker to present their points and I will give one minute to counter their points. Now, the first speaker from the affirmative team will start the debate. Good morning everyone. My name is Kartika. I am first speaker of affirmative team. Uh, my first point is lack of vitamin A causes blindness in all over the world and it affects 50 million children. Vitamin A can be found in milk, butter, meat and yellow vegetables. Normal rice does not have very much of vitamin A. The most uh, example of genetically modified rice is golden rice. Golden rice is called golden rice because it is in yellow color and it has more vitamin A. Uh, golden rice also contains iron and zinc. Uh, golden rice good for third world countries. Now the time for countering. There is no need of golden rice. Instead of that we can drink milk and eat meat and green and yellow vegetables. When you say that we can uh, drink uh, milk instead of eating golden rice, golden rice, but we can't drink the milk as a meal. Also, Sukanya said that we can eat meat and uh, green, green and yellow vegetables. But uh, think about the vegetarians, uh, they don't eat meat, then how will they get vitamin A? And green and yellow vegetables, we cannot buy it for every day and it is very costly. Green vegetables not available to every day. But uh, everyone who eats rice normally eat vegetables with their rice. So they will get vitamin A like that. Hey ma. But they eat vegetables with rice. That is a side dish and they cannot eat it as a main dish. Hey ma. The first speaker from the, Now the first speaker from the Nagati team will present her points. Good morning everyone. My name is Sukanya. I'm the first speaker of negative team. If we grow genetically modified crops, our traditional varieties of rice will be lost. Mostly our traditional varieties of rice have been lost. If we introduce genetically modified crops, our fully our traditional varieties will be lost. Now the time for countering. Sukanya told that if we use genetically mo modified crops, our traditional varieties of rice will be loose. But already our traditional varieties of rice has already been loose because we are using hybrids. So instead of using hybrids, we can use genetically modified crops and it is also pest resistant. So we are using hybrids. And for hybrids, we are putting more pesticides. So we are eating a poisonous food. Nita said that we, we have lost most of our traditional varieties because of hybrids. But should we lose all of our traditional varieties because of GM crops? And Prashant said we are eating poisonous food from pesticides. But uh, we can eat organic food also. Then, so no need of GM crops. Want to die now or after 30 years? Time up! Now, the second speaker from the affirmative team will present her points. Good morning everyone, my name is Nida. I am the second speaker from the affirmative team. I am going to tell about BT brinjal. Almost everyone of here will eat brinjal. In home, when we are cutting brinjal, we will see worms in it. To avoid that, to avoid that farmers use pesticides. That is bad for our health. We can use Bt brinjal. Bt brinjal is pest resistant and it is big in size. So the farmers can earn money. And one brinjal is enough for the whole family. So we can also save more money. Now the time for countering. Bt brinjal is having a cry gene. There are few insects which will eat only Bt brinjal. If that insect go eat that Bt brinjal, that insect will die. Uh, uh, there are few birds which will eat that kind of insect. 
and if that bird didn't get that insect, that bird species will also die. So a food chain is breaking. And many people are uh, dying because of crops like Beauty Bringer. Beauty Bringer are made in big, big companies in America. In America, they will sell it for low price. In other countries, they will sell it for high price. So the farmers are buying loans from banks and if they cannot pay it back, means they are committing suicide. There is no any problem with companies. It is not problem with GM crops. It is problem with companies and our government. Time up! Now, the second speaker from the negative team will present his points. Good morning everyone. My name is Subhash. I am the second speaker of the negative team. GM crops can cause harmful for the other organisms. Uh, in US, they did a research and found that pollen of GM crops poisoned monarch butterflies. Now, the time for countering. They poisoned because it is a BT corn. Uh, they definitely eat it poison. And also, that can be affected by some other diseases. Not only because of GM corns, it can be affected by some other diseases. Nitha said that it can be affected by some other disease. But U.S. Department of Agriculture tested the pollen of BT corn and they found that it is poisonous to monarch butterflies. And monarch butterflies are not doing any harm to these crops. They are just pollinating the crop. But they are simply dying because of the poison. And they are very good part of the ecosystem but now they are endangered. The you will put pesticide and kill that, uh, that uh, one of butterfly. Anyways, we can kill by that BD cones. There is no problem. Now, the third speaker from the automatic team present his points. My name is Prashant, I am third speaker from Automatic Team. I am going to tell about uh, the GM uh, cons, uh, no, GM crops are good for our health and environment. Bt cotton. Bt cotton is a plant have a hygiene that any plants, any insects cannot attack them. So we don't want to buy the pesticides and we can save the money. And we will also get money. More. Now, the time for countering. But uh, when testing the beauty corn, many cows died by eating beauty cotton seeds. How can a cow eat the beauty cotton seed? And there is no scientific evidence behind that cow eat the beauty cotton seed. And cow is not supposed to eat beauty cotton seed. It's supposed to eat grasses. Farmers feed cows uh, cotton seeds and BT cotton seed, so it, uh, the cow eats BT cotton seed. And Prashant said that there is no scientific evidence. If the company wants to sell all these products, they will hide the scientific evidence that this is poisonous to people and also animals. And one cigarette company told that uh, uh, cigarette is good for health and like that uh, after many years they found out uh, it was bad for health. Like that, the GM crops will also be... Time up! Now, the third speaker from the automatic team present his points. Good morning, everybody. My name is Rahul. I am the third speaker from the negative team. I am going to tell the GM crops are bad for humans. While the scientists are modifying the crop, one team may escape from that and it will cause harmful. In America, uh, one gene escaped and it went to weeds and the weeds are growing, growing, growing. Uh, nobody uh, can control it. It is weedicide. Now, the time for countering. Travel told that in America one gene will be escaped, but the genes are like folders inside the memory card. In, unless we took that and put in a, another folder, it will not go. And th that is not a living organism to jump from another gene. 
we must want to take it and put it in our while taking the memory card and putting into another phone, a virus can also go through that memory card and it can make a damage for that folder. When this uh, weird storm start uh, growing pest resistantly in one day, uh, because uh, it is only because of the GM crops. If the virus went inside, it will be destroyed, it will be not jumped. And Raghu said that uh, jeep may escape but and it went to the weeds but uh, when they are modifying, they modify in the lab. Time up! Now we have finished our debate. Now we have finished our debate and we are leaving our conclusion to our chief guest, Mr. P. Sayanath, to address us.